And here's Kat with the news. Well, you know what? We would like to uh, make way for the younger generation. You know? Dean and I aren't spring chickens anymore. Nope. Uh, I want to welcome back to the family young Ryan, who joined us as... Come on in, Ryan. A young whippersnapper. A young Ryan whippersnapper. Report. Nice to see you again, my friend. Yay. Have a seat. Nice to see we you. always keep in touch. Come on in. How, how old were you when you first joined us on the Ryan <sighs> Reports? I was nine years old. No, he was nine, nine when old. he was doing his first yep. Ryan Reports for Man, us. Man, we're old. How were you? You're 16? 16, that's yes. right. And I'm so 16. now you are pursuing that career. That's right. What are you doing? Of course. I'm on uh, Rogers TV in Mississauga now. Uh, Rogers TV Peel. Try to do as many reports there as I can. Well, do some studio work, too. I'm I'll tell school. you what. I'm going to get you to do the news. <laughs> All right, so here it is. We haven't seen it for a while. It's uh, today's edition of Ryan Reports. Dust it off. <laughs> Remember this one? Oh, I still have the intro, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get you to help me out with oh, this. Sure. All right, so here, here we go. Go ahead. Uh, customers, not happy with, uh, customers are not happy with the Canadian Tire Flyer after some odd suggestions for gifts for her. There is a lot of controversy over that flyer. Because there's things like exercise bikes, sewing, sewing machines, machines chocolate, pots and pans. How do we feel about this? I, I, that is the question. Should, should we have Ryan weigh in yeah. uh, on this uh, topic? Should, should we throw him Should we throw him to the, the, the wolves? wolves of controversy? You already have. You, you put the poor kid on the spot without showing him the script. This is a cold read. It's unfair, even for the uh, season that's pro. Okay, that's okay. He's up for the challenge. <laughs> Do you um, want to put, put your two cents in on that one, Ray? Well, how could you not realize when you make a flyer like that? You know, you just got to look. Just got to <laughs> look and go. you got to realize. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Uh, so, so Winston, uh, we put a poll out earlier as well. We were asking people what they, you know, do they think that flyer is indeed sexist? And what, what, what's right. the result been? Uh, let very me quickly pull poll. up the poll. Here it is. The results. 76% uh, of you say no, uh, that it is uh, not sexist. A lot of people 76 are saying 76% say no. We're overreacting. Just breathe. Just breathe. Oh, Just take okay. a deep breath. First Calm of all, down. chill out. I don't know about everybody at home, but I can't sew. If you gave me a sewing machine, I'd be like, what do I do with this But thing? I would love the pots and pans. I'd love some chocolate I want and pots the chocolate. and pans. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, next story, Ryan. Buying your TTC fares is about to get a lot easier as riders will be able to use their debit or credit cards at subway stations by the end of the year. He's reading Prompter 2 now? Yes. Transit officials out. Mayor John Tory and TTC Chair Josh Cole will be making the announcement at 11 this morning at Victoria Park subway station. Riders will now be able to use debit or credit cards if they buy any fares that are more than $10. All part all part making public transit more convenient for riders. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Cole very Reed. Good. Um, hey, that very That was good. very impressive. And well, if you don't like cycling, you can do yoga, it turns out. The peaceful activity is just as good for your heart. Do, do, do you do yoga? Uh, I, I, not personally. No, no I don't no. really either. do yoga. It's great, great for you. <laughs> I've tried it once. A new study published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardio uh, preventative call it cardiology, cardiology. That's a tough I looked at the health benefits of yoga and found that it leads to weight loss, lower cholesterol, and blood pressure. Those effects are on par with those who do conventional exercise such as brisk walking and cycling. Mm. Another added, added benefit to yoga, if you're a smoker, it actually helps you quit. Wow. Scientists think that working the muscles and breathing to bring in more oxygen into the body leads to positive health effects. Let's try it. Let's get set. And breathe in. And out. No. Okay, I feel better. No. Yeah, I feel, you. feel more relaxed. Don't you? Don't you? Yeah, feel a lot more relaxed. Zen. Zen, Ryan. <laughs> People of the Jewish faith will mark the beginning of Hanukkah tonight with the lighting of the menorah. A public ceremony will take place at 6 this evening at Mel Lastman Square on the first night of the eight-day holiday because holiday celebrates the miracle of oil, fried foods, and also are also one of the traditions. Mm. Hanukkah commemorations, commemorates the redecoration of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem following, following the Jewish victory over the Syrian Greeks in 165 BC. Yeah, right. Happy Hanukkah. Latkes. Yeah, happy, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Right. So good. A good matzo ball soup, a little latke, wash it down. <laughs> mm. uh, traffic bag? This right. is, that was a cold read with Ryan from that's, Ryan Report. That's a cold, difficult to do. Yeah. He has not seen any of that, and you transferred like Kevin does effortlessly from paper to script. <laughs> High fives, Thank you. young so, Frankish. Uh, give your uh, no. You're on Rogers, uh, Rogers Television, TV, Mississauga. That's Mississauga right. regularly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, a few you, times a week. A few okay, times a week. so okay. Give, give, a, give a promo. Twitter. 
everyone tune in to Rogers TV Mississauga, Rogers TV Peel, watch Cable 10 Live there. Uh, all access past great shows that you can see my reports, reports from many other great reporters there in Rogers TV. And follow you on Twitter where? At reporter underscore Ryan. Right, I'm so proud of you. You did this right. as a kid. You, you think maybe That's it's right. a passing phase. You really strive. Oh yeah. After sure. school to be doing this full time. That's right. Once you're done. Guaranteed. You will too. Right. Guaranteed. Well, look out, Gordon Martino. <laughs> Uh, let's go upstairs. Here's Russ Holden. <laughs> okay, good job, good job. I plan to use the 401 uh, heading westbound this morning. Uh, it's a good job if you slide into the collector lanes, express lanes. They have a collision approaching Warden. Two right lanes are blocked now. Uh, MTO is on the scene as well as police. So heading uh, westbound on 401 through Warden. Collector is your better choice. If you're planning to use the Gardner Expressway this morning, not too bad. That westbound delay still in evidence as you head past Kipling over to the 427. And uh, Queen Elizabeth Way is still a slow one, but that fog's pretty well dissipated or rained out, as it were, as you continue on the Queen Eats. Starting to ease a little bit through Mississauga Road, but still a typically slow go. Back to you guys. All right, Ryan, go ahead. You're doing such a great job. And now we'll send it over to Frankie with weather. Ryan, good to see you again, bud. Uh, great job, by the way. Weather-wise, is it a great day? It's not horrible. We got some light rain out there. We had some fog earlier on, 2 degrees. Winds now out of the east-southeast at about 16 kilometers per hour. Going to stay in that warmth for today. Temperature's going to go to about 5 degrees. A word of warning for those that live in Ottawa through the afternoon. You could see some freezing rain. There's the showers on and off throughout the day, continuing right now through Oakville and Hamilton, pushing its way towards Toronto. The umbrella is indeed your friend. We can see that additional lines will be pushing their way through, but it's not going to be a washout of a day by any means. Tonight, showers continue. Tomorrow, the afternoon is where the temperature falls. So highs today of 5 we wake up at 4 degrees, then fall down to plus 1 tomorrow afternoon. We'll see morning flurries as a risk on Thursday. Good travel conditions, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And by the way, Sunday is the first official day of winter. That day we'll see daytime highs of minus 1. And on Monday, as we see the last week before Christmas, freezing mark will be on Monday with an increase in the cloud cover. But today's high of 5. Now back downstairs to Kevin, Dina, and the future Kevin. <laughs> Dina. He can take over the whole station, quite frankly. High fives to today's forecast. Now, this is a cold read for all of us. I'm sure we'll screw this up, even though you well, didn't write. You An exciting contest starts tomorrow and runs through till Friday. Hockey Holidays is three days of giveaways to celebrate Rogers Game Center Live. Starting tomorrow, we will be asking a daily question to determine who is the quintessential hockey fan. We're going to help you out. Tomorrow's question will be based on something from tonight's Leaf game against the Ducks, so you'll want to watch that match up carefully. Of course, the best way to experience the game is by using Rogers Game Center Live with features like My Replay so you don't miss any of the action. Well right, said, Ryan. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. More breakfast television when we come back. That's this edition of Ryan Reports. A plus plus. Yeah, I am. Been an awful good girl. Santa baby, so her.